Tobias, meanwhile, had used his cat-like agility to get the evidence at Maggie's house. The cat is in it. Unfortunately, it was just as Maggie came home. Tobias, concerned about Maggie's heightened sense of smell, set off to cloak himself in her scent. And Michael was at the vet's office. Justice is fine. Great. Although, dressing him up like a seeing-eye dog seems a little cruel. Cruel? Well, yeah, because he can't see. What are you talking about? Mr. Bluth, Justice is blind. Justice cannot be blind, Doc. He's got a handle and everything. Come on, boy. Maybe his peripheral isn't great, but he's been leading a blind woman around. I think she's been leading him around. But that would mean that, that Maggie isn't blind. In fact, Maggie wasn't blind, but had been pretending to be. Son of a bitch. Since she found it helpful in taking the LSATs. Or D, E places fourth. A? Finding it a wow. tremendous boon to her really professional life, Maggie continued the ruse. I submit into evidence this wine glass with the defendant's fingerprints. Don't worry, you're so ahead. <laughs> her ability to see, however, was currently proving a disadvantage. As she couldn't reveal to the man she recognized as Tobias that she knew he was there without betraying her secret. Tobias was finding her an uncannily difficult blind girl to outmaneuver. Their game of cat and mouse continued. Until Michael showed up to return Justice. Oh, Justice, what is it, boy? What is it? Is there some jackass in my bathrobe? 